But I kind of stumbled across Washington State uh, University because I was looking for engineering. When I got to the campus, it was just beautiful. It's just everyone's so nice there and the people. So I was like, well, you know, they have a great program. The teachers, they really seem, you know, I think they care about the students. And I was like, I need that, you know. And I got to meet with a student who was doing, I think, um, what was it, structural engineering. And she was like, yeah, and, you know, they have the resources for you because math is something I really have to work with. So it's a challenge, but she was like, you know, they have the resource center, the help for you. And I was like, wow, I feel like this is a really good fit. You know, some of the other colleges I'd visited were like, you know, kind of more, you're more on your own because it's just, it didn't feel like a family environment. That just felt like a second home to me. Fingers crossed in construction engineering. So that has to do primarily with building design. So you'll, you know, I'll be taking classes and like, you know, software design. So I'll be designing stuff through like AutoCAD, um, one of the programs, and then you use math labs for different math structures that you have to see. So a lot of it with construction engineering is you have to learn like your soil analysis, building composition. So it actually plays really nicely with, you know, the fire department. That's, we'll see, that might be, I was considering doing that as a route too. And so I was like, that major, you know, works well for that. And it's cool because I like building things. So, you know, getting my hands dirty isn't a big deal. So, you know, you have the soil analysis, then building, designing, construction, and then a lot of software. And then they do that into, like, their um, engineering labs. So they practice that. So you build stuff, like, they have projects where you do it on the popsicle sticks. And you want to see what's the maximum load you can lift. So they had one group, they made this structure. And they were able to put 40 pounds of weight on it, and it didn't break. Whereas there was other structures that weren't designed as well. And so with about 15, 20 pounds of weight, they would collapse. So it's about understanding you know, proper placements and what's going to work effectively and also be cost effective for your application. Well, it means a lot to me. I mean, I really appreciate the fact that you guys have this set up through the relief. Um, association so definitely it makes it nicer with the fact that for schooling so I'm gonna have to take out less loans um, for my you know, college and it's really nice that the fact that they're giving back to the community in that sense so I'm hoping that through you know my schooling and afterwards I'll be able to do hopefully something similar and give back in that manner. Their donations really make a huge impact and it's something I think special because for a lot of people um, you know, you don't get full scholarships to colleges and stuff, and college is, you know, quite expensive, and it's nice the fact that you, with, you know, scholarships like this, you don't have to take out as large of loans, and it helps make it easier once you get out of college, you know, to not be overburdened by that large debt.